That was meta set doing. Yeah, it's being glassed. They rebuild them so fast, and they've got all of our resources at their disposal now. All our resource planets are just gone. Have we lost all the civilian stations yet? We're about to. Okay. Let's uh, build them here. Colony command signal lost. It's gone. Metaset's gone. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, we need even more logistics slots. Crumbs. How many logistics slots do we need for this bloody thing? 12 logistics slots. How many do we have free? I think we have four logistics slots available. How many logistics slots do we have? We have four, we need 12. Ah, uh, that's awkward. We just don't have any, enough logistics slots anywhere. We could destroy the heavy shipyard, but then where would we actually build our heavy ships? We could build them here, I guess. I guess we're going to have to do that. We're going to have to build all our capital ships here now, at the rubble. Set the rally point for the rubble to the reach defense platform. And then scuttle these. And then we'll have enough. To build this. Monster <laughs> of an assembly plant. Research order complete. That's my only hope. My only hope is that we can... Build that infinity. And take back the worlds that we've lost. But... Yeah. Orbital structure complete. We're going to have to smash a lot of Covenant fleets. If we're going to want to take the advantage back. If we lose the infinity, then we're stuffed. But as the way I look at it, as I said, this is the only way that we can do this. Only special assembly plant. Here we go. Build it there. That's going to take a while to construct. And then we're going to have to build an infinity. Which we need more fleet capacity for. It uses 400 supply and 2 commands. So we need to upgrade that first. Hostile forces approaching reach. Here we go. It's just a few heavy corvettes. It's a scout force. That's all right. Don't auto attack. Wait for them to come to us. I do want to have the fleet actually facing that direction, though. Uh, no, move there and then face that direction. There we go. Here they come. Our interceptors are engaging them. Orbital structure. We have to somehow hold reach <laughs> until we can build the UNSC Infinity. Uh, yeah, something tells me this is going to be tough. How long until that special assembly plant is built? Quite some time. Sigma Octanus, fully defended now. So, this is it. We've got one, two, three, four worlds left. Reach is now the front line. And we can't build any replacement ships because we have to be saving up for the infinity. We need 40,000 credits, 12,500 titanium, 7,500 deuterium. So we're just basically saving up for ages. We need more of everything. It looks like this fleet is actually, it was just a scouting party. And our fighters are harassing them enough. It looks like they're entering slip space. Or they just come for to sit on the edge of the... Um, gravity well. I'm fine with them doing that. Oh, we constructed the special assembly plant. Perfect. Have we got... Order Perfect. Okay, we got the BXR mining initiative. <laughs> we finished uh, deuterium filtering before we lost the civilian research thing. So we have that uh, tech, but we can't, we can't research anything on that level anymore. So thank God we researched it fast enough. So our fighters can keep auto-attacking. That's fine. But we're just going to keep the fleet here. 
Perfectly safe inside the uh, the ODP bubble. Anything enters the kill zone, they die. This is sort of like the Battle of Earth. It is actually, <laughs> it really is Battle of Earth. Sitting the fleet behind the kill zone, using the ODPs to their full effectiveness. What I want to do is, as well as that, just have them around the planet so they can't just sneak around the uh, edge of the planet and just start glassing it so we don't have to move our fleet for like if like one corvette moves and mo tries to move us out of position you know let's get a saber hanger here as well this is going to be one very well defended piece of space okay i know we just used a bunch of the credits we're supposed to be saving up but you know it doesn't matter if we <laughs> Spend some of our credits we're trying to save up for the infinity if, you know, reach doesn't exist by the time we have enough resources to build it. Because, uh, yeah. Hello, what's that? That's the OAS. Okay, here it comes, everybody. This is the moment of truth. Let's look at our research. We are researching this, right? Yeah, we are. This is it. Here it comes. Oh, jeez. This is... <laughs> It seems to be running the gauntlet without any support, though, so... Let's wait till it enters the kill zone of our ODPs. What is the kill zone of the ODPs? Let's have a look. Almost enters it. Okay, it's almost entered it. And... Everything open fire! We should have, like, 12 ODPs that just open fire on it at once. Fire everything! I want to zoom in on this fleet actually. I want to get I want to get the shot of all these ships just laying waste to this. To this one ship. We got it! Yeah! Here they come. They're in the kill zone. Take them down. Take down those covenant bastards. Look at our ODP array that just got annihilated. We had like some like five, six ODPs here. But we let them take the brunt of the uh, of the hits. Inbound slip space anomaly. Okay, they're retreating, we're not gonna hunt them down. If they wanna retreat, that's fine by me. They have got reinforcements incoming. Stay inside the ODP array. Slip space rapture detected. It's important. We'll let our interceptors go deal with them. There we go, they're retreating. We've got more incoming. Hopefully they'll just GTFO. <laughs> Look at the experience all these dudes got. Salvage debris. Oh, yeah, grab that and use that. That's a good one. Use salvage debris. Use that. You should be able to salvage the... Uh... Yeah, the ship you just destroyed. Tell the citizens of Sigma Octanus we're coming for them. Oh, bejeebsus! CAS class, I think Sigma Octanus is going. There's nothing we can do to stop that. I know we have an intact fleet here, but they could attack Reach again. Oh, I don't know. Do we go save Sigma Octanus? Alright, with the Covenant retreating from Reach after we destroyed their flagship... And that's not actually taking many losses, thanks to our ODP array, which did get utterly wrecked, as you can see. Just completely... <laughs> Look at that. But still, took out a bunch of covey ships, didn't we? Look at that. That's, uh, that's one of our ships, so that's a Phoenix class. <laughs> but yeah, I think we can risk going to save Sigma Octavius, because we really can't afford to lose all of the facilities there. The defences at Sigma should keep them occupied for a, a while, but they have a CAS here. And that will be able to punch through. So we're going to send the fleet there as fast as possible. Go, go, go. In the meantime, we're not researching anything, building any new ships. We've got to keep saving up for infinity. It is going to take a while to get there um, with our income as it is. But our only hope for survival is... <laughs> is that, essentially. Our only hope. I've almost taken out the CAS, though. 
That'd be pretty sweet. Take it out. Take it out. Oh, we did it. Nice one. CAS is gone. They might retreat now. Maybe. Never guaranteed. But they don't seem to like losing their capital ship. Yep, looks like they're on the retreat. Keep nuking a few more of them, ODP. There we go. There goes another one. Ah, sugar nuggets. Okay, they didn't seem too happy about that. This ODP should be able to take out a few more of them, but we are going to need reinforcements. Hence why we sent the fleet. But they took out the CAS class for us, which saves us some trouble. So, yeah. This fleet's pretty sizable now, actually. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, do we rebuild the... we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we've got six operational ODP arrays there, and the ones surrounding the rest of the planet. So I think we're all right. Um... Yeah, I think we're okay. Executive General Order 098831 Alpha-1. Still, the defense is... It's all about just putting a big enough dent in the Covenant fleet and taking out the biggest ships possible with these ODPs. So that's a pretty small fleet now for us to deal with. Come on, guys. Where are you at? Hurry up and... Get to Sigma Octanus before it gets glassed. Oh, we really should have put emergency facilities on Sigma Octanus. That costs a few credits, but we need that. We should have done that earlier. Oh, well, they're going for this ODP first, uh, it looks like, so. Should be okay. They destroyed all our Saber things, so all these interceptors and bombers are really. Yeah. We're going to do a quite a lot of damage. Okay, we're at 10,000 credits. We're a quarter of the way to... Inf oh, Jesus Christ. Planet side infrastructure complete. Um, do we turn the fleet around? Do we turn it around? Oh, jeez. Do we turn the fleet around right now? I'm going to quote Cortana and say that's the largest Covenant fleet I've ever seen. The largest anyone's ever seen. Your days on reach are numbered. You're very right. Okay, let's hope the ODP arrays can hold them back while we just get them away from Sigma Octanus. Destroy this little fleet. Start rebuilding the defenses of Sigma Octanus, and then we'll return to reach. But, uh. Oh! They've got more forces heading to Sigma Octanus as well. Hurry up. Get out of there. Destroy this fleet. Stop them glassing Sigma Octanus and destroying our research stations. Oh, Jesus Christ. Saying that, our massive ODP thing has just cut this fleet in half. Come on, guys. Keep firing. Keep firing. Yeah, it wasn't enough, though. It wasn't enough. As long as they don't destroy the assembly plant, we're all right. Come on, destroy the fleet at Sigma Octanus, will you? Destroy this ship. We'll destroy all these ships. Even this tiny little force is just decimating our fleet. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Deal with them, deal with them. And then run back to reach very, very quickly. Okay, cool. Right, fleet's done. Head back to reach now. Seems to just be a lot of fighters attacking our ODPs because their main capital ships don't want to head into the kill zone. This should do them a bit more mischief as they head around. Swords, mark my position. Come on, come on, come on! Don't even group jump, just go, just go. We're at 20, almost at 20,000. Almost halfway to infinity. 
Team Rock Titans is now completely defend like undefended though. But rebuilding the defenses would cost too much. We just have to hold reach and get that infinity class super carrier. Come on! They're glassing reach, I think. These are really expensive. No! It's either that or lose Sigma Octanus, though. And we couldn't have afforded to lose it. This stage in the game. Come on. Come on. Go, 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 go. Get some ships in there. Ah, they're attacking our R&D labs. No, don't you dare bloody warp to the rub- They're warping to the rubble. F screw you. Entire fleet, you guys stay here, stay here, stay here, stay here. Okay, warp, warp here. We'll send some back if we have to. Hello, fleet. Stop them destroying all our research labs, please. No! What do you need? No, oh, they're going to Sigma Octanus. Don't let them destroy the assembly plant. Or I'll be pissed. Uh, I think we're going to have to say Sigma Octanus is lost. So is the rubble. We have the infinity research. <laughs> so if we can somehow still get up to uh, enough resources, we can still build it. That's my only hope at this point in time. She'll sure be in one fleet, right? There we go. <sighs> Sigma Octanus is gone. That's another world. You know what? Let's just focus everything on Reach now. I, th I don't think we can run to the aid of any more nearby, any more nearby planets. Right. No more other planets. First of all, rebuild all our titanium mines and deuterium mines. That's unbelievably important. Uh, we also we can build a mining ship. We don't need the research stations anymore because we're not doing any research, so build that, I guess. Just anything that increases our income. Because reach is all we're going to have left pretty soon. The sad music is so appropriate, it's infuriating. <laughs> okay, let's turn off auto attack now. Don't auto attack, guys, stay here. I had to spend a lot of credits just then on orbital defense platforms. We're about to lose the ability to build capital ships. Goodbye, Sigma Octanus. I can't afford to build defenses around it. We have to build defenses around Reach, because if we don't, then we literally lose the game. It is our capital. Um, but yeah, Sigma Octanus, uh, obviously we can't afford to lose it, but we're going to, whether we like it or not. Look at Let's have a look at our research, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> we only have five of those research things now, and... Okay, we still have six civilian research things. That's quite nice. You just have to wait until infinity can be built. 
or the next fleet comes along and destroys Reach. Okay, we're so close to getting Infinity, it's actually infuriating. But they've launched another attack. We haven't replaced our losses in this fleet. So although we have some very experienced Artemis, Battlecruisers and Valiant classes. Hello, we've even got some uh, targeting uplink. There we go. Some spare ability points lying around. Um, I don't know if this fleet can repel this one. I honestly don't know. They're not auto-attacking. We've got another ODP cluster. We're just going to have to hope and pray that this fleet isn't going to be the end of us. But I think they're probably going to be an OAS in this somewhere. Considering uh, Sigma Octanus is almost gone. And that's only being attacked by light cruisers. So here we go. Let's have a look at the fleet composition as they warp in. Okay, we've got lots of battle cruisers. Making up the bulk of the fleet. Destroyer. Support ships and a battle carrier, but no super carrier. Okay, that's all right. Let's keep that special assembly plant protected, shall we? And here they come. Another one. That's a frigate, that's all right. Okay. And they should be in range of our ODPs. About now. Let's go. Where are the destroyers? The destroyers are the real threat and the battle cruisers. Better got the battle cruisers. There we go. This is going to hurt. Trust me, I know. Take out the destroyers. Hello, we've got another experience point. Uh, upgrade that. Artemis. Upgrade your super fast firing Mac cannon. Same with this one. Uh, Valiant, he's got an experience point. Upgrade your Shiva nuclear weapons. And there we go, that's all our capital ships that we have. Interceptors. Come on, guys. So close! We're so close to infinity. It's actually absurd. That's our only hope. Okay, hunt them down. Hunt them down. They're running away. That will slow down the amount of time it will take for them to uh, regroup. If we see an OAS inbound, though, I am GTFOing back to the safety of that, uh, uh, that defense grid. Okay, they're running. And they are gone. Non auto attack, head back to the, well, remains of the ODP grid. We have one ODP. Look at the amount of debris in orbit. Look at this. This is absurd. It's a graveyard <laughs> in this part of Reach. We've got the salvage debris um, ability on our Orion class, which is pretty sweet. Go there and then face back this way again. Okay, this strategy of just building tons of ODPs uh, with a, a massive overlapping firing arc and just u hiding behind that seems to be working. Like the Covenant almost break through, but don't quite manage it. I mean, on the other hand, we're about to lose Sigma Octanus. Um, I don't dare send reinforcements because, like the last time I did, a massive fleet then jumped to Reach and we almost lost Reach. It's just nothing we can risk doing. Once we have Infinity, we can risk it. But until then, the fleet has just got to chill. We can't afford to lose any of this fleet either. We just can't afford to lose any any members of this fleet. Because if we do, we're stuffed. Like, the reason we're still alive is because we just have that critical number of ships in combination with the ODPs that allow us to just about obliterate the Covenant fleets before they do too much damage. Um, yeah. Without that, we lose, like, just a few ships and we lose that critical advantage and we can't quite reload our max fast enough and we lose the whole fleet. It's that simple. We'll step up the speed probably lose some more worlds. 
successfully. Orbital structure complete. Ground forces are under planetary bombardment. We're so close. We need another 12,000. Oh, we need so much more titanium. We can sell a lot of this deuterium, though. There we go. Oh, here we go. We've got another fleet. This is why I didn't send reinforcements to Sigma Octanus. They can just keep sending them at us now. They have our entire industrial base. Pretty much. Now, under their control. Especially Bloody Kadara with all its deuterium. And they can just build ships on our doorstep. They're going to keep sending th these massive assaults, and there's nothing we can do about it. Now, we have enough credits for Infinity, but we do not have enough titanium. We're going to have to buy some. Flip space rapture detected. I mean, it's not producing enough titanium. Ah, oh, jeez. Come on, guys. Get yourself turned around. So you're facing the right way. That's another massive fleet. And this time they've got an OAS and a CAS. They've come to finish us off. This, if we survive this, we'll be fine. But something tells me this is this is our last stand. This, this is them throwing everything at us. Literally everything that they have. We've got our interceptors heading to engage theirs. Our ships are all as leveled up as they're ever going to be. This is it, everyone. I'll get there. Here they come. We're going to focus fire on that assault carrier. Oh, we are stuffed. Detected. This is uh, this is when the sad music usually starts playing. <laughs> We're so screwed! Fire everything! Fire! Inbound slip space anomaly. And we took out the OAS! Where's the CAS? We need to concentrate fire on that now. CAS, take that down. Holy bejesus. This is absurd. Those defense platforms are pulling their weight. Yes, they are. Oh, look at our fleet just vanish. Focus fire on that CAS. Fire everything. Fire it all. Solstice is gone. No. Keep firing. We took out the CAS. Come on, we're so close. Target the destroyers! No! The fleet's gone. We're so close! We were so close to infinity. That would have that would have saved us. They went straight for the jugular. That was the largest covenant fleet we'd ever faced. Inbound slip space anomaly. I don't know, they've already got bloody reinforcements. Slip space rapture detected. Do your worst, Covenant. Go ahead and glass her. We had a pretty bloody heroic final stand, I think. Pretty heroic. Some of you might be thinking, you know, I should have saved up and well spent all those points that I had, all those resources I had saving up for Infinity on smaller ships, you know, but. They would have just kept attacking us like this and we just would have been whittled down and whittled down. We just can't keep up with their level of production. Our only hope was to build infinity. Inbound slip space and that was our only our only chance was getting a shielded ship.
Look at the debris. Look at this debris field. This is insane. See the remains of ODPs. UNSC forces having it's kind of beautiful, I'm not going to lie. The enemy. Look at that. Inbound slip space anomaly. Space, this is the remains of what, like three or four major battles? We held on, you know. We held on. As long as we could. There's nothing we could do. Well, hey, you know, we kept with cannon, didn't we? <laughs> we kept with cannon. It is heartbreaking, but Reach is gone. Just in, just listen to that sad music. Capital defeat! Our leaders are dead! Our capital well destroyed! It is over. <sighs> well, there you go, everyone. That has been Sins of the Prophet's Fall of Reach. I am terribly sorry, everyone, but it seems like the title of the series was about as accurate as it can get. If you guys would like to see more Sins of the Prophets, I would very much like to do a multiplayer series with someone else. Um, so if you know any similarly sized YouTubers to me who play Sins of the Prophets, not the XP gamers, okay? A lot of people are like, I, I suggested collab, and a lot of people are like, hey, XP gamers, like, they, they have hundreds of thousands of subscribers, okay? I have barely 20,000. So some, if any of you know a YouTuber with roughly 20,000 subs who plays Sins of a Solar Empire, um that you think that you'd want me to collaborate with, then let me know. Because um, I would love to do a multiplayer series on this. Um, probably not with Tape. I do so m so many collaborations with Tape. I do love him, but it would be nice to actually collaborate with some other people as well. Um, maybe two, two people playing as the UNSC against maybe like a hard covenant AI. Maybe that could work. But until then, I've been the Baby Penguin. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I will see you all next time.